Glory to God! Glory to God! Happy 21st and a blessed anniversary GCI family. Kami po'y natutuwa. We are so glad seeing you growing and multiplying. Thank you, Pastor Alinda and Brother Juancho for inviting me to do the installation, the privilege to install your new senior pastor. Now, the transition in the church, in our family, even in our work, it's normal. Now, when we transition LCC uh, five years ago, when Bishop Tim and Mang Lori uh, left Kuwait, you know, we have the same feeling. Sometimes, you know, you, you feel uh, nervous, you feel uh, overwhelmed uh, at, in the beginning, uh, but God is with us. Uh, the Holy Spirit will never leave us nor forsake us. Serving the Lord is not by might or by power, but by the Spirit of the living God, you know. In Kuwait, people come and go. We are all temporary in Kuwait. Thank God for the 21 years of uh, serving the Lord in the lives of Pastor Alinda and Brother Wancho. They faithfully serve the Lord. And now it's time for them to move to a new location. It's like what she said, there is no retirement in the Lord. The Lord will send her to their own town. We, we talked about it uh, last two weeks ago when she visited us in the LCC office and she discussed and shared her heart and what the Lord put into her heart to start a new ministry, you know, in her own town. So today is a transition day. It's a day of installation and we believe that God has a great plan for uh, Grace Church International, and we believe that God called uh, Pastor Carlos because your elders, uh, they pray, they wait upon the Lord, they transition the church with the consent of your senior pastor, Pastor Alinda, and us, the presbyters of Life Connection Church. So today we will do the installation. So what is the difference between installation and Ordination. So open up your Bible with me, please. In John chapter 15, a famous passage. And maybe many of you can quote this from the heart. John chapter 15 from verse 16. Jesus said to his disciples, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, He may give you these things I command you, that you love one another. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we recognize your Holy Spirit in our lives and in this place. Holy Spirit, I pray for your press anointing, anoint your word, anoint your servant, and anoint Pastor Carlos as we set him apart today, install him as the new senior pastor of GCI. Lord, thank you for the anointing. For the anointing will break the yoke of bandage. The anointing will release wisdom today in the life of Pastor Carlos. The anointing, O oh Lord, will set us free. The anointing, O oh Lord, will touch the hearts of people so that they will be drawn, grow close to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, make Jesus real to us through the anointing. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen. What is the difference between ordination and installation. So let me explain to you and define. Based in John 15, 16, Jesus is speaking to his disciples said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you or appointed you. See, the word ordain in this verse or appoint or to set apart for a special work is the same word installation. See, the Lord Jesus Christ chose His disciples and appointed them for a specific task, a specific ministry. What is that task? What is that ministry? An apostolic ministry. What is an apostolic ministry? What is an apostle? An apostle first is a chosen, chosen by God to be sent out 
into the nations of the world. To do what? To preach the word, to be Christ's witnesses, make disciples, equip leaders, and plant churches to the nations of the world. So, this is a specific task that the Lord Jesus Christ gave to His apostle. He chose them and appointed them. So the real work of the person of God has been accomplished through the work of the Holy Spirit and their submission to Him. See, if we will ordain or install a person to do the work of the ministry, to shepherd, to equip leaders, to preach the gospel, to be Christ's witness, so if we will install them into that office, particularly the office of a shepherd, a pastor, we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And the affirmation of the elders of the church. See, installation is a process. See, it takes 21 years. Before Pastor Alinda was replaced, and the Lord used Pastor Alinda, anointed her to shepherd this church with the support and the help of our elders, the GCI elders, and also the mentorship of the Life Connection Ministry International or LCC Global Presbyters, and the pastors and the ministers. And our leaders who mentored you and assist you and help you and serve you to accomplish God's purpose for this particular church. Impart the vision of the Lord Jesus Christ and His great commission to love God with all our hearts and soul and mind and might and to go and make disciples of all nations. That's our vision, the fulfillment of the great commandment by loving God and others and the fulfillment of the great commission through the multiplication of disciples and then God gave us a strategy a clear strategy or what we call the vision statement see vision is different from mission or strategy vision is God's purpose specific purpose for the church and for you individually and the church generally see if you have a vision without a strategy or a purpose statement, mission statement, you you just dream. You know, but if you have a strategy, you know, you know how to accomplish that vision, you know how to get there. So both are important. Vision and strategy. So we have a clear strategy. Win, winning the loss for Jesus Christ, connect, connect them to the body of Christ, train disciple them the whole counsel of God and then send them to become Christian spiritual multipliers or send them to the nation of the world to accomplish their purpose. So, what is ordination then? Ordination is lying, laying of the hands just like the prophets when they lay hands to the kings that God has chosen. For example, King David the prophet Samuel was commissioned to lay hands upon him and all the kings of Israel you know, were anointed by the oil symbolizing the Holy Spirit and the prophets, they lay hands upon them. In the New Testament, the apostles, when they are ordaining or they are sending missionaries, commissioning church planters or evangelists or prophets or teachers, in the New Testament, they also pray and pass and then they also lay hands upon them, anoint them, and then they will send them. For example, Acts chapter 13, when Barnabas and Paul, they were set apart with the three, they are all five leaders in Antioch Church. So, ordination is a laying of the hands or a ceremony just like this that empowers an individual to proceed with a life that centers on the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, what is installation? In installation, on the other hand, 
situate an individual at a specific church or in a specific role of a church. So in the case of Pastor Carlos, so he will pastor a specific church called GCI, your church, our church. Installation usually follows ordination in the New Testament. So long time ago, Pastor Carlos was ordained as a pastor. I asked him a while ago, how long you are now serving the Lord at GCI? He said, uh, 16 years, right? 2005, when he started a house church. GCI started with a house church. I heard that from Pastor Linda, uh, Mr. Wancho. The Lord bless GCI and grow and multiply. These are faithful leaders. You have many faithful leaders in this church. So, installation on the other end situates an individual as a specific church or a specific role of a church. Installation usually follows ordination according to the Presbyterian law as defined by the church court. Ordination inducts into the office. Installation gives him authority to exercise his office over a particular church. I want to repeat that. Ordination inducts into that office. Installation gives him, give him the authority to exercise his office over a particular church. In an article for SBC Impact, author David Rogers says or writes, there is a threefold recognition of God's call on the life of an individual or the commendation to ministry. First, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And then the license to preach bestowed by the ordaining body or a church. For example, uh, the late Pastor Jerry ordained me as a minister of the gospel when he is still alive. And then we shaped him daily. As they ministered to the Lord and pastored, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, having pastored and prayed, and laid hands on them, that's the ordination and installation, they sent them away. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. They started their missionary journey. So, four truths that we can see, we can dissect from this passage. First, Pastor Carlos and all of the pastors here in this room, including me. First, you want the anointing of God? You want the blessing of God? You want the multiplication of God? You want the success that these men experience? First, you need to commune with God every day. See, they are worshiping, they are praying, and they are fasting. The Apostle Paul put it beautifully in his epistle to the Corinthians in Corinth. He said, May the love of the Father and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. See, as a pastor, there is no way for us to be fruitful without communing with God, Jesus Christ, abiding with Christ and communing with the Holy Spirit every day. No way that we can do this in the flesh. You need to commune to the Holy Spirit every day. Listen to His voice and His direction. That's the key, Pastor Carlos, for your success. That's the key for the multiplication of GCI leadership and disciples or the growth of this church in the future. First, your relationship with the Lord. And then number two, calling. He called them. He said, set apart for me Paul and Barnabas. According to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, this is also the Apostle Paul wrote this. He saved us 
and called us with a holy calling. Today, those who came here at front in the altar, you are saved today. If you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If you receive, if you repent from your sin, today you realize the calling of God unto salvation. And and wait and seek the Lord. He will reveal to you your calling for the ministry. Acts 1.8, when the Holy Spirit shall come, you will receive power and shall be my witnesses where? In Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Your calling, Pastor Carlos, is a holy calling. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. See, before the foundation of the word, God called us. God called you. But you need to make your calling sure. Hebrews 3.1 You are partakers of the heavenly calling. Your calling is heavenly. God is the one who called you. As God called Jesus and affirmed Jesus in His baptism, this is my beloved Son in whom I am a well pleased. God called you today. Walk worthy of the calling with which you are called. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 And then consecrate yourself every day. There will be a consecration. They pray and pass. In John chapter 17, Jesus Christ consecrated himself and he consecrated his disciples. He said, consecrate them with your truth for your word is truth. And then last, he commissioned them. He sent them out to make disciples, to plant churches, to raise up leaders and equip workers in the kingdom. Now, a word for the congregation. This is for you, congregation. This is in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in the word and doctrine or teaching. For the scripture says, you shall not muscle an ox while it treads out the grain. And the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses. So it is your responsibility, GCI family, GCI members, workers, leaders, elders, to honor your pastor, praise, provide, and protect. Give your leaders double honor. Why? Because they are laboring in prayer. They are praying for your souls. They are praying for the lost souls. They are praying for you. They are teaching, preaching. Sometimes they sacrifice their families, their children for the sake of the ministry. Now it's not easy to be a pastor. All your problems is their problems. All the problems that you share to them, especially in counseling, became their problem. It's not easy to pastor. They need grace. They need anointing, they need understanding, they need support, they need encouragement. They are human beings. They have weaknesses. There are times that they are also discouraged, so therefore, they need your encouragement. So honor them. And then it is your responsibility as a church to support them. At LCC, we support our pastors. When our leadership, the elders of LCC in Back in April 2006, when they approached me to go full-time, I have a promising career during that time. I am the first Filipino Mandubor salesman in Alganin, GTRC. When the church called me for a full-time ministry, I was already promoted as the new business salesman manager. And I'm receiving more than 1,500 KV during the time. But God called me, and I talked to my wife, I talked to my children, said, Dad is going full-time, we will walk by faith, we will only live with one salary, mommy's salary, so we need to tighten our belt, we need to cut our budget, but we are believing that God will provide for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And God provides. He provides. So don't be afraid, Pastor Carlos, God will provide for you. And we GCC, or GCI, sorry, GCI family, we need to support our pastors. If you supported Pastor Alinda, go full time. You need to also to support Pastor Carlos some days when the time is right. See, when they asked me to go full time, I said, if you will ask me to go full time, 
I said, from now on, every year, I want you to walk by faith with me, believe that God will hire another full time. I said, every year, if you will ordain me as your senior pastor and believe that God will provide for me, let us believe that God will provide for our full-time staff. And I said, every year, I want a new full-time staff. If you really believe that LCC will grow, will multiply, because I'm believing, because I saw in my vision, I saw in my dreams, you know, that God multiply LCC. I saw myself preaching and standing, you know, in a gym, in a theater like this. I saw many people coming into the kingdom, but I know that I cannot shepherd them all. And it's not my responsibility to shepherd the congregation, LCC. I cannot shepherd you all. Can I visit you all one by one? No way. It is not my responsibility to shepherd you all, but it is my responsibility to shepherd the shepherds so that they can, they can shepherd you. It's my responsibility to pray and equip the leaders so that they can equip the workers and the elders so that the elders and the workers, they can equip you. That's why LCC multiplied during COVID-19 two years ago when COVID-19 started. We transitioned from big gathering like this into house churches. See, we have 26 congregations for 14 or for 13 years. Now, by the grace of God, we are now almost 20 congregations only in Kuwait. And in Kuwait currently now we are 16 years. We have 16 full-time staff in Kuwait. And we have more than 30 full-time staff in the Philippines. And we have more than seven or ten full-time staff in in India, and we have two full-time staff in UK, and we have three full-time staff or four full-time staff in Thailand, and we have in Russia, and we have in the USA. See, I thought only every year we will have full-time staff, but more than my expectation, because that is multiplication. You see, my pastor Carlos is start thinking multiplication. Start thinking multiplication. Not addition. Addition is a slow process. Jesus thinking and model is multiplication. Go and make disciples of all nations. That's multiplication. Their proof, more proof, much proof, proof that will remain. That's multiplication. If you will abide in Christ. Read the Acts of the Apostle. Read it carefully. Read it meditatively. Read it with an open heart. Read it with, a, with an open mind. It's about multiplication. Addition in the Acts of the Apostles is 3,000 souls, 5,000 souls, 4,000 souls. That's only addition. Multiplication is one person at a time. Multiplication is a small group. Multiplication is discipleship. That's why LCC focus on one, not more. You have heard me pray and pray before COVID. Lord, make us small. Make us small. Some pastors, they are praying. Lord, make us big. Make us a mega church. No. LCC are praying. Lord, make us small, but multiply us. And it happens. Stop thinking big things if you can even do one thing. Or little things. We have heard many messages, many words. And yet, our problem is we are slow in application. Ang dami nang narinig na salita ng Diyos para sa mga minamahal kong mga Pilipino. Ang dami na, thousands messages, hundred messages from Pastor Anita for the last 21 years, those who stay with her. Dami na. Pero minsan, magugas lang ng kato, hindi natin kaya ito. Paulit-ulit ang mga masisipag natin, mga manggagawa, sila yung paulit-ulit na gumagawa ng mga dirty work. Magbuhat lang at tulungan sila. Tingnan natin mamaya, test this, Pastor Linda. Ang bilis umalis. Ang kawawa na naman, yung nag-design ito na napakaganda na in-enjoy natin. Yung God will test you first to be a servant and a follower before you will become a leader. Good leaders are good followers. God will promote you. Your promotion is coming. Your blessing is coming. All the people leaders of GCI will be blessed. Will be promoted. Hallelujah. Because God is seeing your favor. God is seeing your faithfulness. Kapat ang Diyos na ating pinagdiling mo. If God is faithful over few things, God will make him ruler over many things. That's why you are here today, Pastor Carlos, because you are faithful. And the little things that God has to do. Pastor Alinda was promoted kahit po siya babae. She's the Deborah 
Oh, great. They don't, maybe you should want to be a nice guy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, I'm preaching now. I love our ordination. <laughs> And the anointing strike you, you cannot tell but to preach the word, right? Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Support your pastor. Please support your pastor. Pray for them. Pray for them. And protect them. Wag natin silang i-chichismis. Alam ko ang mga Pilipino mabait, hindi sila mahilig mag-chismis. Amen. 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 Pag-pray na lang po natin. Amen. Amen. I know Filipino talk. Mabilis po yung balita kapag Filipino connection, no? We are called the text capital city of Manila. Bakit kasi mainit tayong mag-text? <laughs> Ang bilis, no? Uh, but please in the church, you know, uh, iwasan po natin because it cause division, cause earth. Kausapin natin personal yung tao. You know, sa LCC, na-resolve po namin. Thank God, na-resolve po namin. Napaka-minor niya sa LCC. Kasi, ang aming ginagawa, hindi namin kinakampiyan kundi bukunin mo yung kamay ng isari ka kapatid mag-make tayo mag-usap tayo kasi dito po sabi dito more ever if your brother sins against you you go and tell him small between you and him alone if he hears you you have gained your brother Matthew 18 15 Second Timothy chapter 4 1 to 2 I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who will judge the living and the dead and is appearing in his kingdom preach the word be ready in season and out of season convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Pardon me if I release a gentle uh, rebuke to all of you. you know? uh, mga kapatid, uh, protect po natin yung ating mga pastor. You know? Kapag merong problema, kausapin sila o lumapit sa mga elders, sa mga right person. You know? Wag po kayo may mga problema, huwag nyo nang uh, uh, ibabalita sa iba. You know? Pag-pray nyo lang o kaya kausapin ninyo yung, yung, yung mga kapatid. So, makalaga po ito kasi sa church, maraming problema. Kahit mga leaders, meron po mga problema. Uh, sa LCC, we, we talk talk pag kami mga leaders. We are honest enough to say what we want to say uh, lovingly. You know? uh, kasi mahalaga yun with all honesty, with love. Of course, palaging with love. Kaya nare-resolve namin yung mga uh, problema. Uh, hindi tinatago sa ilalim ng carpet, sabi nga ni Victor. Right? So, uh, gusto niyo pong mag-grow pa ang inyong church. So, you need to praise, pra provide, and protect. And now, it's time for our installation. Pinatawag ko po si Pastor Alinda. Pagka po yung mga pastors ng uh, GCI, of course, including Pastor Pete, our friend. You know, he's part of this ministry long time ago. Alam po natin yan. Uh, family po ng uh, GCI, si Pastor Pete. You know, Pastor Carlos, salita dito, at saka yung ating mga uh, elders po, yung council of servant leaders, no? even though if you are not yet ordained a pastor, if you are a council of the servant leaders, uh, dito po tayo. I add my anointing oil, si Pastor Carlos, ang unang ma-anoint dito. I order this from Jerusalem. Wow. Ang mga kapalang biblical principle, no? alam ko po na meron tayong maliliit na oil na butalya na ginagamit pang anoy. I'm not against that, pero yung biblical talagang binubuusan po ng oil yung mga inoordain. Kaya sinabi ako si Pastor Carlos, sabi ko, bro, maglagay ka ng tisyo. Kaya ano, bubuusan ka namin talaga ng oil ngayon. Hallelujah. Amen. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 16, remember, you know, that God commissioned the prophet Samuel and he told him to choose from the sons of Jesse. And then Prophet Samuel saw Abinadab, right? The eldest. He is masculine, good-looking, tall and strong and handsome. And in his heart, in Samuel's heart, oh, this is the one. But God said to Samuel, you know, man look at the outside appearance or outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Today, Pastor Carlos, God is your heart. Now, you dedicate your heart unto the Lord and the anointing of God will flow in your life. You know? uh, he knows your heart. He knows your weaknesses. Uh, he knows that you need help and God will provide for the help. The important thing is your heart. If you will surrender your heart to the Lord, dedicate your heart to the Lord, He will love you with all your heart, with all your soul, your mind, and your, your might. 
And the Lord is the one who will empower you. He will sustain you. He will give you the work in season. No, and He will establish the work of your hands. And He will multiply you. So today, we will anoint you to be the shepherd, the new senior pastor of uh, Grace Church International. Uh, look at me, Pastor Carlos, before I will uh, anoint you and the elders. You know, uh, your primary responsibility is to love God. That's the ministry. That is backward. You know, God first. Jesus Christ first. The Holy Spirit first. You know, the God end. That's your primary responsibility every day. You know, set aside time, quality time, to commune with God, to read, to meditate His Word. You know, love His Word. And you will grow. You will grow. Hallelujah. And you will be changed and transformed. You will grow in wisdom. And then a second is to make disciples. Make disciples. There are many pastors, gifted pastors, gifted evangelists, but they are disobedient in the way to me. Don't be disobedient. There are two revealed will of God in the scripture. Great commandment and the great commission. What is the great commission? Go and make disciples of all nations. And then to build, you know, uh, the office of the pastor. And part of the office of the pastor besides shepherding, is the Ephesians chapter 4, 11 and 12. Equip the saints. Be an equipper. You will become an equipper. You will be. You will become a multiplier. Remember those things. Hallelujah. Commune with God daily. Hallelujah. And then shepherd God's flock. You know, make disciples. Make disciples and shepherd God's flock. Equip them. Hallelujah. Amen. So by the authority that was bestowed upon me, as the senior pastor, of Life Connection Church wait and one of the presbyter of LCC Global Life Connection Ministry International and by the by these witnesses these pastors and ministers and council of elders of GCI with the consent of the senior pastor we ordain you today and install you as the senior pastor of GCI Pastor Carlos, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. GCI leaders, please put your hands into his shoulder, Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, thank you that you have chosen Pastor Carlos. You have called him before the foundation of the world. You are the one who called him. You are the one who ordained him for this purpose, for this ministry. We are just confirming that. It is not us who called. It is you who called. You are the one who have chosen him. You are the one, O oh Lord God, who have called him. Thank you for Pastora Linda, for her faithful service for the last 20, 21 years. And uh, her husband, Brother Wancho, and all the pastors and leaders of this church. Lord, Thank you that you have called, called them uh, as a team of leaders, O oh Lord, of elders leading this church. Not only Pastor Alinda, but all of them. They work together in harmony, in unity. And they and now they will work again with harmony and unity, O oh Lord God, to serve you together uh, and to install Pastor Carlos. O oh Lord, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your anointing be upon this man. Uh, Lord, be, let your wisdom be upon him. Let your knowledge and understanding, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, be upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you heal him with your Holy Spirit. We pray, O oh Lord, that you guide him, guide his decision. Uh, let him humble himself before you, uh, commune with you, O oh Lord. Let him seek you with all his heart. And if he will seek you, he will find you. Lord, Lord, I pray that you use him to advance your kingdom. Use him to love your people, especially the GCI family, to shepherd them with the integrity of heart, with the skillful hands. You are the one who will provide the wisdom and the skill, to Lord God. And, and you are the one who will help him, oh Lord. It's not easy to shepherd, it's not easy to pass for, but with your help and with your grace, you will help him in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for your anointing in his life. I thank you for your empowerment. And Lord, I pray in part gifts, Lord, that he need. Let him grow in teaching and preaching. 
Let him grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Let, let him grow in love, in compassion, and shepherding your people, the necessary gifts that he needs, and with the help of, her, of, of his senior pastor, Lord Pastor Alinda, and his elders, Lord, he will be successful and he will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May I call on our uh, prayer intercessors to surround and give me all your oil. I don't know, maybe the oil uh, spill out. Come on, come on. We have some oil. I have oil in my bag. Please, my black bag on the side. Can you get a uh, pastor, somebody? A prayer intercessor, give me all your oil. Hallelujah. Nasa side. Side plastic. On the side. Bro, side. Side. Okay. There you go. I have two there. Open those two bottles. Hallelujah. Give a story in the post. So that was me just wipe later on. There you go. Give a story in the post. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you that the oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit, a symbol of your anointing, a symbol of your power. The name of the Lord is under the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you that today, the Holy Spirit will empower him to be your shepherd, shepherd of your people, and to be your witness, uh, to witness about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of our Lord and Savior, who died and rose from the dead and ascended to heaven, and sitting at the right hand of the Father, and someday is coming back, Lord, to judge the living and the dead, and to reward the faithful. Lord, thank you for your anointing that is flowing in his life right now, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. You got the glory. This guy received your new senior pastor. Hallelujah. that the Life Connection Ministry International, a network of pastors and church planters, recognized Pastor Carlos C. Dan Jr. was appointed and installed as the new senior pastor of the Grace Church International Kuwait, as approved by the LCMI Presbyters and GCI Council of Elders, presented on December 17, 2021, here at Pintas All Kuwait, during your anniversary, 21st anniversary, Signed by GCI Senior Pastor, Pastor Carmelita Santos, Bishop Timothy Daly, LCMI Presbyter, Pastor Alan Pili Chankin, LCMI Presbyter. Congratulations. Love him more. You love 
love me, love me more. Maybe the word more, that means more than what you did to me, the support, the love, the prayer, do it more for Pastor Carlos. It is my prayer that he can do more than what I did. As you know, I am a mom, a wife, and a pastor. Like, he can do better than I can do. And we will continue to support Pastor Carlos. Coming in the future, support our new senior pastor. 